Hey there. A uh, big question that comes up a lot when people start advertising is um, when I'm split testing two different ads. Like you can see here, I've got an ad for Core. I've got one picture with me in a jacuzzi and another picture with a man holding a certificate. <clears throat> I'm running these two ads against each other. How do I know? Um, how do I know when to cut an ad? In other words, how do I know when to declare a winner <clears throat> and um, and you know how to declare a loser and, and cut that? Um, it's a really interesting question because really when it comes down to it, you need um, you need a certain amount of data in order to know whether um, the results you're getting are statistically significant. So let's say, for example, uh, let's say I'm running, whoops, let's say I'm running two ads against each other. Uh, and ad one, let's say I've delivered uh, ad one, two times, <laughs> so two impressions, right? And it's got one click. And then I'm running add two, and add two's got two impressions and two clicks, right? We could look at that and go, wow, add two is double the performance of add one, like clearly it's the winner, it's doing twice as good. But we all know that out of four impressions, there's certain uh, laws of statistics like randomness and standard deviations and everything that there's a good chance that this pattern is not going to last. There's, you've only got four clicks. You can't really determine a pattern from four clicks. So how many how many clicks do you need in order to know whether you've got um, you know some good statistic analysis? You know, if you 10x this and you make it 10 clicks versus 20 clicks, now on 200 impressions, is that enough for you to know which one's the winner? Well, it's a complicated thing, right? Calculating um, standard deviance and calculating the mean and all the, all those things, it gets very, very complicated. But the good news is there's a, there's a tool that does it. It's a really, really simple tool. And it will tell you when you have enough data to determine whether something is a winner or not a winner. I've split tested things before where, you know, looking at it, I'm going, holy crap, this second variation is just performing like crap. Um, it's, it's not going to win at all. And then lo and behold, a week later, I come back and, and it's 20% better than the first one. And, and so, you know, a lot of times you just don't know, especially, by the way, especially if you have an ad that's in learning mode, right? For the first few days, or depending on what your budget is, if you have a low budget, it may take a, a couple of weeks. Um, but for the first few days, your ad's going to be in learning mode on Facebook. And basically what that means is Facebook is experimenting with your ad to try to find the best people to deliver the ad to. So your results are going to be wonky during learning mode anyway. So you never, ever, ever want to turn an ad off in learning mode. All right. Once Facebook figures it out, then you start measuring the data from there. Um, so I've got two ads here. Uh, again, the only thing different between these two ads is the picture, the creative. So I've got me in a jacuzzi on a coaching call, and then I've got a guy holding a certificate. As you can see, um, I've got uh, a 1.76% click-through rate on this first one with the jacuzzi at 48 um, at 48 uh, clicks. And this one's got a 0.56% click-through rate at 62 clicks. They might look at this and go, well, number one, here's here's something that's confusing, right? Core men, this one here with the guy holding the certificate, has a higher number of clicks. So would you declare that the winner? Well, that, that's, that just says that this one got more money put to it by Facebook, right? If you look at the click-through rate, the click-through rate's almost a, uh, it's a third of the second one. So while this one has more clicks, it's actually performing worse uh, with 0.56% versus 1.76%. So you can't just look at the number uh, the number of link clicks. You also can't just look at the click-through rate. So how do we compute this? Well, there is a tool that uh, was put online by Perry Marshall, who wrote a book called uh, The Ultimate Guide to Google AdWords, which is a fantastic book. Um, again, I think everybody in the inner circle should be doing AdWords, and I think you should read that book before you do it. Um, we've been running AdWords since 2002 when AdWords first came out um, with, a, with a slight hiatus in the middle. But um, yeah, Google AdWords is a huge part of our marketing strategy. So um, basically what you're going to do is this. You enter your numbers into this split tester. The first one is this, number of clicks for the first ad and the click-through rate for the first ad in percent. Then you add the number of clicks for the second ad and the click-through rate for the second ad, and you click Calculate. So if I did this, let's let's take that previous scenario. Uh, we have two impressions, one click for the first ad, two impressions, two clicks for the second ad. It appears that the second ad is doing twice as well. 
But if we calculate this, the result says you cannot yet be certain of which ad is the winner, right? They're basically saying there's just not enough data here in order to know whether the second ad is actually outperforming the first or whether this is randomness or standard deviations and all that other stuff. So let's take a real world example now. We're gonna take ad number one with 48 clicks and I'll paste that into box number one. Take ad number one with 1.76%. And they do have a note here saying that you're supposed to enter it as a percent, not as a decimal. <laughs> so actually put in the 1.76%. Now our second ad's got 62 clicks which we'll paste into the second ad here, and it's got a click-through rate of 0.56, which we will paste into the second one. Now, if I calculate this, this tool is gonna to tell me whether I have enough data and what the confidence level is in that split test, okay? Bam, there is an approximately 99% chance that the ads will have different long-term response rates. Now, this text right here confused me for a while, that the ads will have different long-term response rates. Ignore all that. Look at this number right here. This number is your confidence number, all right? Um, sometimes you'll get uh, uh, an 85% confidence. Sometimes you'll get a 90%. Sometimes it's 95 and sometimes it's 99. Um, in advertising in general, you don't want to look at any results that provide less than a 90% confidence. And even 90% is pretty low. You really want to shoot for like 93, 95% confidence at a minimum before you determine a split test winner. All right, so hopefully that helps. Um, and uh, and again, you know, the big determining factor that tells how long it will take before you know, um, you know, before you know whether uh, whether um, it's worked or not <laughs> is budget, right? If you're spending a dollar a day on ads and probably getting five impressions, it might take you weeks, maybe even months to know whether a split test is working. On the other hand, if you're spending $1,000 a day on ads, uh, on a split test, you, you might know within an hour. Um, so budget is a big part of it. I get a lot of people who say, um, you know, Michael, I wanna spend $300 on a on a, um, a split test. Should I, should I do $300 over a week or $300 over a month? Or, you know, two months or a, a day? What, you know, what, what, um, Rain, date range should I do on it? And my, my answer is this. If you know you're going to spend the $300 and all you want is the data, then do it in a day, right? It, it makes, the only difference that it makes if you're going to spend $300 a week versus a month is that it's going to take you longer to get the data. So spreading out that $300 over a month isn't going to make any difference unless your budget is limited and you can't afford to spend $300 in a week. So that's really the only limiting factor there is your personal budget. But um, but really, if you know you're going to spend the 300 bucks and you just want to know which ad's going to win, you could spend that in a day and and it, you'll have your results within hours. Um, so budget plays a big part in determining how long it'll take. But this will help you accurately determine who your split test winners are. This also, by the way, works um, if you're split testing landing pages. So in instead of putting in how many impressions you got and what your click-through percentage is, you'd put how many... Uh, how many landing page views you got and what the click-through percent was or what the conversion rate was. And uh, so you can basically use this for any kind of a split test in marketing. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.